What's up, coffee nerds? This is Eric with Levercraft Coffee. Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit about burr alignment. First, we're gonna talk about what burr alignment actually is. And then second, we're gonna talk about how it works inside of our ultra grinder. Um, this should also apply to really mo any other grinder that's out there on the market. To start, we're gonna talk about the two different kinds of alignment for the burrs themselves. So there's horizontal alignment, which is how perfectly aligned the lower plate is and the upper plate. So as you can see here uh, with the ultra grinder, as we're assembling this, we can actually set this up just like this and we can set our horizontal alignment. So once we have the horizontal alignment nailed, which isn't particularly difficult to do, we move on to the vertical alignment. And this is what's much more difficult to achieve especially with really large burrs like the 98 millimeter burrs that are in the ultra grinder. This means that the two burr surfaces are as parallel to each other as possible. So in this setup, we have a rotating lower burr and we have a static or stationary upper burr. So our goal with this grinder and really with any high-end grinder in general, the idea is to design the grinder in a way that allows us to get as uh, as parallel as we possibly can from the lo lower to the upper. So that means at any point in the rotation here, we are getting as close to um, the exact same distance or depth between the burrs from the front to the side to the back, all the way around 360 degrees. So to show you the horizontal alignment, this is horizontal alignment. What we're trying to do is make sure that this edge of this burr is exactly the same as this edge of this burr. And the way that we do that is with a clamping mechanism that actually centers this exactly with three points so that we make sure that it's exactly the same all the way around the burr. The second is the parallel part of the burrs. We have these two burrs and they are independent of each other. If you're out of alignment, your burr, and of course this is very exaggerated, would be something like this. The ideal alignment is going to be, it should be as close to perfectly parallel as we can possibly get. How we do it with the ultra grinder is very unique. Now that we know exactly what burr alignment really is, then we have to talk about how it actually works and is achieved on a grinder. Let's talk a little bit about um, what a tolerance stack up is really quick. And I promise this is the only technical term that we're gonna get into here. The rest is gonna be very straightforward. But a tolerance stack is really simple. Every single one of these parts that is part of the grinder from this base here to the carrier, to the upper, to the adjustment mechanism up here, each have their requirements from the manufacturer of what you are allowed to um, have in terms of variance. So that typically means plus or minus one thousandth, plus or minus 0 0.01 millimeters, something along those lines. The thing is, not every grinder manufacturer is actually compensating for the fact that maybe this lower plate is plus 0 0.01 millimeters. Maybe this upper plate is also plus 0 0.01 millimeters in a particular spot. And then what you have is you have a 0 0.2, 0 0.02 millimeter um, difference in terms of the actual flatness of the piece. When you take one, two, five, six, eight pieces of metal that have all been machined and finished, when you put all those pieces together, what you're gonna have is this tolerance stack. What you might get if your pieces are mismatched or not uh, put together properly is that you're actually gonna have this tolerance stack up uh, error of maybe six, maybe a 10th, maybe even more than that. And so even though all the pieces are machined really, really well to really, really tight tolerances, when you put all those pieces together, you might still have issues with the actual alignment of the grinder. Now, there are always slight machine tolerance differences, maybe changes from part to part and whatnot. And so what we did was we took all of that information and we figured out how to adjust our grinder for the fact that the alignment can be changed based on the slight differences in each manufactured part. And the way that we do that is by having this upper floating carrier that we can actually change uh, the angle of the static burr by adding shims to one of these four posts. By doing that, we can actually adjust for that tolerance stack up. 
So while this is not an exact scientific method of checking for alignment as we're assembling our grinders, it's a really good reference point that we can use. Basically, all we do is we turn the grinder on and we make it spin and we slowly turn the dial down until we hear burr touch. From that point, we then go ahead and turn off the grinder, we back it out, and then we turn this top uh, dial as far as we can till it's at zero, which is total lock. And as you can see, all the way around, the burrs are completely touching on our grinder. This is really cool that we can set this up that way so, so that we can actually see what we're doing in here and we know what's going on. Um, then what we do is we back the grinder back out and simply all we have to do is remove and add shims as necessary to really make this top stationary burr as parallel to the lower burr as we possibly can. The Ultra system is designed to be able to compensate for a tolerance stack up. We understand that in the real world, things are not perfect, nothing is perfect, and so we have designed a system that allows us to adjust for that. Other grinders on the market typically are not as well aligned as the Ultra, but they can be if you use the sharp Sharpie method with shims, etc., etc. it'll get you in the ballpark. It just isn't nearly as easy. What's great about the Ultra as well is we also align the grinder out of the factory so you don't even have to mess with what we're doing here. But if you did want to change the burrs out or you messed something up, maybe you accidentally turned the plate when you're cleaning it the wrong way, the great thing is, is you can do our simple alignment method, which we're going to show you in a, a future video, and you can have your grinder realigned just as good as it was before. You got all this information about burr alignment Let's talk about why it's actually important. The major difference between a grinder that is well aligned and a grinder that's not well aligned is how big your sweet spot is when you're making espresso. Think of it as cooking any sort of steak or vegetables or anything on the fire. If you don't cut each one of those pieces into a very, very precise, even piece, they're all gonna cook at a different rate. And what's really awesome about having a really well aligned grinder is just like when you're chopping up those vegetables with precision and putting them in your pot, the grinds are gonna be very, very even and similar. The particle distribution is gonna be extremely tight, which means that you're not gonna get really over-extracted coffee and you're not gonna get really under-extracted coffee. Instead, everything is all gonna be extracted at about the same rate. Of course, we're not talking about fines, we're not talking about the different kind of burrs right now, but generally speaking, when you have a really well aligned grinder, especially with larger burrs, your sweet spot is gonna be really wide. So even if your grind setting isn't perfect, you're gonna find that even over or under, under extracting a shot in a situation like this, you can still actually have really good coffee. It might not be the best coffee, but it's not gonna be something that's not drinkable. The other main difference about a large burr, really well aligned grinder is the extraction percentages that we can hit. And typically, uh, any espresso that was extracted over 21, 22, 23% would start to exhibit really astringent, not tasty characteristics. And what I've found with this grinder and other large format grinders is that you can really push the limits on how much you can actually extract out of the coffee and it still tastes delicious. Sometimes when you're doing things like blooming espresso and other coffees like that, of course, it's gonna change the entire profile of what the espresso really is. But I've found that really no matter what coffee we use, whether it's really light roasted, medium roast, dark roast, all of these coffees actually come out much smoother, much nicer, even when really over extracted or when you're going for a really high espresso yield. Another thing that's very important to mention is if your grinder is misaligned, you're actually gonna have way more issues with your grinder, no matter how big the burrs are, who built it, or how easy the workflow is. It is going to be more difficult to use a grinder that is misaligned than one that is well aligned. Possible issues you might have with misalignment could be the inability to grind fine enough for certain types of espresso, um, if you're using really light roasted coffee, you typically need to grind finer. 
And if your grinder isn't aligned well, even if it is a very large burr grinder, 98 millimeter grinder, you're still gonna struggle with being able to grind fine enough for those specific types of espresso, especially blooming espresso. That's why one of our tests after we're done aligning is to pull a blooming espresso shot with a really light roasted coffee, just to make sure that the grinder is in fact as aligned as we believe it is. You heard a little bit about alignment and what we know uh, in terms of the alignment space, how a grinder is set up, how the ultra grinder is set up. Any questions, comments, uh, things that you might wanna see in a future video, please go ahead and put it down in the comments. We'd love it if you would subscribe as this is gonna be a huge undertaking um, and I certainly can't do it alone. Thanks for watching.